Hey, you may not recognize me. I'm Mark Lanier, and this is your video thought for the day. It's Halloween. It seems that our grandkids, three of them anyway, have a dress up trunk or treat event at their school. My daughter, Gracie, is not going to lose the trophy she holds from last year of having the best trunk design. So it's farm day for the family. Uh, Becky's a funky chicken, actually. She looks a lot better than I do in my lamb's wear. But I'm thinking about this because it uh, fits in well with my video thought for the day. You know, it's real easy for us to wear a mask and to pretend to be something we're not. Uh, we, we can do that with other people. Uh, we can do that with ourselves. We can do that with God. And while we may have some measure of success with other people, pretending to be something we're not, uh, we may have some measure of success with ourselves, pretending to be something we're not, we have absolutely no success before God. He knows everything that we're thinking. He's able to uh, discern not only our thoughts from afar, according to the Psalms, but as 1 Samuel 16 says, even though we as people tend to judge on outward appearance, God judges based upon the heart. He knows everything that we think. He knows everything that we feel. He knows our struggles. He knows our successes. Uh, he knows our failures. And the remarkable thing is, knowing all of that, God still has an unimaginable, unconditional love for each of us. He may say, wait a minute, if God loves me, then why does he judge me sometimes? Why then do bad things happen? And, and, and uh, why, why doesn't he make everything rosy? Well, I love my kids. I love my grandkids. I love watching my grandkids uh, uh, being parented by my kids. And my grandkids sometimes don't have everything working the way they want. Sometimes they even get disciplined. Uh, sometimes they, they get uh, uh, stopped from pursuing things that that frankly would be dangerous for them. They just don't realize it because they're operating with limited knowledge. Now, does that mean that my children don't love my grandchildren because they discipline them or, or because they stop them from doing things that are unsafe? Well, of course not. That's part of what love is. Love is seeking to help people grow up. So I'm headed to see my kids with my grandkids in this trunk or treat uh, event today. But in the process in my mind, uh, while this may fool probably no one, <laughs> uh, I, I certainly don't fool God. And so my commitment to myself, and, and I'd like you to join me in this, is not to wear a mask uh, in our relationship with God, not to think that, that we, we hide things from God uh, or that, that God's unaware or perhaps uninterested in us. None of that could be further from the truth. God knows who you are. He knows what you think. He knows what you feel. He wants the very best for you. And he loves you with a special love that's not based on you earning it. It's based on the fact that you're his. So I want you to think about that today. It's your video thought for the day. Now, I've got to go be a bad grandfather who's also a good one. Take care.